What's going on guys? Cause you're back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. Today we have another brand new roster predictions for May 3rd. Once again, the roster updates always come every other Friday. And then you guys know every Tuesday at about 2.45 Eastern Standard Time, I will be uploading my roster predictions. Of course, the whole reason for this is that you guys can see who I think is going to get upgraded in the next roster update, invest in them, and in turn make a bunch of stubs. Something that apparently did not go through to a lot of people in my last episode i go through seven hitters seven pitchers and five downgrades there are going to be plenty more players that get upgraded or downgraded Frankly, I just do not want to sit here for 40 minutes to talk about every single player, and I don't want you guys to sit through that as well. So, as always, let me know down below in the comment section who you guys think are going to get upgraded or downgraded, but by no means am I sleeping on any of these guys. I'm watching it all. I'm just only going to list seven hitters, seven pitchers, and five downgrades. So I just want to make that abundantly clear once again. But starting off with our first one, of course, we are over with the Orioles, and this is a guy who I did have on there last time and did get upgraded created that is Trey Mancini I once again forgot that I should put myself up here for the time being um Trey Mancini did go up to a 74 but I think he is going to go up to a silver at least a 75 overall um keep in mind that all of these stats are reflected within the last 30 games so just keep that in mind for Trey Mancini uh he has 25 strikeouts and 10 walks versus lefty he's hitting 424 758 slug two home runs seven extra base hits righties 301 534 slug um, uh, for home runs nine extra base hits so i think his contact and power versus lefties could definitely go up about plus five per side and that alone will get him to a 75 overall and make him a silver and the big thing for that is with the orioles silver players are very important because they only have two so trey mancini's price is going to rise quite substantially so i definitely would recommend to go ahead and invest in him Next, moving on to the Kansas City Royals, we have Hunter Dozier, who actually seems like the better Dozier after all. Um, he has uh, versus lefty, he's hitting 250, 400 slug, one home run, one extra base hit, no big deal. They're probably not going to get touched. Righties, however, hitting 400, 833 slug, six home runs, 12 extra base hits. I think he definitely could get some big upgrades there, maybe around like a plus seven per side. Uh, maybe they'll throw him, you know, a power or two versus lefties as well. He does have six. 16 strikeouts and 13 walks so maybe that plate discipline gets raised a little bit i'll say uh 71 maybe a 72 overall for hunter dozier i think he has a chance of getting silver this year so i would go ahead and invest in him moving on to my hometown minnesota twins we have max kepler right here who he hit three home runs in three straight at bat so that's something alone tells you he is definitely hot uh versus lefties 188 batting average 375 slug does not matter that's not going to get touched versus righties however 313 656 slug, 6 home runs, 10 extra base hits. I think once again his platoon stats versus righties are going to go up quite a bit and I think that will raise him to a 75 overall silver. I think Max Kepler will become another silver on the Twins. Of course it might just be the Orioles effect but the Twins they're rolling right now. They are definitely doing a very good job on offense and currently are in first place in the American League Central Division. Moving on to the Astros we have Josh Reddick right here who is batting 308, 615 slug, 1 home run, two extra base hits versus lefties 354 477 slug two home runs and four extra base hits versus righties 10 strikeouts and eight walks josh reddick is a guy who at times i thought would go up to a gold last year but at age 32 i think he might get there this time but i'm gonna say just a 79 overall upgrade for him right now i think he has a chance of getting gold later on but i don't think they'll just uh not quite give it to him yet but i think a 79 overall upgrade for josh reddick is definitely in order Moving on to everybody's favorite Met, we got Peter Alonzo, Pete Alonzo, who once again did uh, get upgraded last week, but he is, or the last roster upgrade, but he's just doing so well, I think he does deserve another upgrade on top of that. Lefties, 385, 1,000. 38 slugging percentage, 4 home runs, extra, uh, 8 extra base hits, 279 versus righties, 574 slug, 5 home runs, 10 extra base hits, 29 strikeouts, 13 walks, that probably won't get touched, 
but his power versus lefties and power versus righties I think could get moved in especially his contact versus lefties at 385 batting average I think he deserves a 75 overall silver as well of course Vlad Jr. just came into the game never played an MLB at bat before 82 overall Pete Alonso killing it in the major so far I think a silver card is in order for him moving on to the Philadelphia Phillies we have in my opinion a brand new gold and that is Gene Segura right here versus lefties 333 batting average 750 slug one home run three extra base hits uh righties 339 batting average 464 slug zero home runs five extra base hits once again not gonna blow you away with the power but 750 slug versus lefties in about 20 at bats is definitely not something to sneeze at and that contact at 333 and 339 batting average i think could be raised a couple points per side all that being said i think gene segura should be in 80 overall for the philadelphia phillies and finally yes he is on here once again i know last roster upgrade i said diamond but i did retract my statement and say 84 overall but damn it i think he does deserve a diamond rarity cody ballinger is absolutely killing it right now um 323 batting average versus lefty 774 slug four home runs six uh extra base hits righties is somehow batting even better than he was before 492 1016 slugging percentage nine home runs and 14 extra base hits 13 strikeouts 16 walks there's not really much else to say at this point i think his contact versus lefties get raised his contact versus righties definitely needs a boost and even his power i think an 85 overall is going to happen for cody ballinger and he is going to be a brand new diamond that we are going to be looking at and that is going to do it for the hitters that is move on to our pitchers we have another guy who did get upgraded and that is of course tyler glass now of my first place major league leading tampa bay rays um 31 innings pitched 1.74 era 191 opponent batting average 087 whip walks and hits per inning pitched 34 strikeouts and six walks um you know six walks and 31 inning pitch a 38 walk nine i think that can move quite a bit as well he has struck out a few more batters than he was before and that hits per nine is definitely going to see an upgrade as well tyler glass now should be a silver pitcher in my opinion and it's just one of the many uh rotation guys bolstering that tampa bay rays pitching staff so far um i guess i didn't put this exactly in order my apologies but for the new york yankees we have another starter who i think is going to go silver and that is domingo herman right here um 31 and two-thirds and he pitched 2.56 era 157 oba 085 whip 32 strikeouts and nine walks uh once again this is a case of a low overall just not having very good stats i think both the stamina of herman and uh glass now both could go up as well but 157 uh opponent batting average definitely could see a boost from 63 hit per nine and then also his uh you know his strikeouts at 32 as well could see a couple of a boost i'll say a 75 maybe a 76 overall but nonetheless herman should be a new silver pitcher the yankees creeping up on the race even though they have so many injuries still doing a really good job out there the detroit tigers um we got shane green right here their closer pitcher in 12 innings pitched he has a 1.5 era 122 opponent batting average 067 whip 13 strikeouts and three walks i think he is going to be another one another brand new silver rarity pitcher that we are going to see in this next roster upgrade um you know once again his stats are just pretty low across the board i think his hit k and walk nine could all go up and he will be a 75 overall closing pitcher for the detroit tigers this is an interesting one right here i guess i'm again once again not in order but trevor bauer this is a guy who i thought was going to get upgraded to diamond last week or in the last roster update he did not and now we have an interesting case in 33 and two-thirds inning pitched he has a 2.14 era 188 opponent batting average 119 whip 36 strikeouts and 18 walks the 18 walks is very concerning so everything else says diamond pitcher for trevor bauer but the 18 walks is a lot in lack of better words that's hella walks you know he's definitely allowing a lot of free base runners so i think he's gonna go up to an 84 i don't think he's gonna go diamond quite yet if he reduces that walk rate later on in the year i think he will be a diamond pitcher when it's all said and done but i think an 84 overall is fair right now just because that walks once again 18 i don't think they'll downgrade his walks per nine but i definitely do not think they'll upgrade it so i think he will go up plus one to an 84 overall and stay at gold but i would still invest in him because i think he will be diamond by the end of the year for the miami marlins probably didn't expect to see a guy from this team um we have caleb smith right here 29 innings pitch 217 era 167 oba 083 whip 37 strikeouts to seven walks um his hit and canine could both go up quite a bit his stamina as well a lot of guys seem to have really low stamina maybe that's 
just because, um, I don't know, it just seems like a lot of these lower overall players have really low stamina, uh, but even his walk nine as well, seven walks and about 30 innings pitched, I think could be raised a couple points. I'll say 77 overall for Caleb Smith. Could be a potential gold pitcher later on this year if he does keep it up. Definitely going to go ahead and keep watching him throughout the year. For the Arizona Diamondbacks, we got Zach Grinke right here. 32 and two-thirds innings pitched. 2.2 ERA, 190 opponent batting average, 0.83 whip. 36 strikeouts, 5 walks, and 4 home runs given up. I did include the 4 home runs given up because, of course, you guys forget that the home runs per nine is still a stat. And it does actually affect gameplay this year. Um, so I think that can move, a couple, uh, move up a couple points as well because his is pretty low um but 190 opponent batting average that hip or nine could go up and then 36 strikeouts as well maybe his k9 will go up a couple points i'll say just a plus one overall for zach granke he could potentially go back to diamond um but he would have to keep pitching like this and probably get his strikeout rate a little bit up um in order for that to happen and then finally we have another guy who was listed on my last time roster upgrade did not get upgraded even though we have sds san diego studios a player for san diego absolutely killing it kirby yates i think he really deserves an upgrade and it is criminal that he did not get one last time but he's still doing the damn thing 11 for 11 on say his 13 innings pitch 069 nice ERA 196 opponent batting average one on the dot whip 19 strikeouts and four walks I think it's walks per nine could go up a little bit his K uh his hits per nine is the real thing that we are going to be looking at 190 uh 196 opponent batting average that could go up to maybe like an 88 something like that I'll say an 82 maybe an 83 if they do want to go liberal and make up for not giving him an upgrade last week. Um, but Kirby Yates, the Padres are actually doing pretty well this year. He has a chance of going diamond. He would have to, uh, you know, help out that home run and walk rate a little bit later on this year. But he is a, you know, a low key guy that I could see going diamond later on this year. But that is all for the roster upgrades. Now let's go on to our four or our five downgrades that we do have. Starting off the Cleveland Indians. Last time we had Corey Kluber. This time we got Carlos Carrasco. And uh, yeah, 27 and two thirds innings pitched. He has a 5.86 ERA, 295 of point of batting average, 1.45 whip. He has. 41 strikeouts and seven walks so that's really interesting he is one of the top guys in strikeouts in the last 30 days but everything else would say downgrade 295 almost 300 opponent batting average that is not very good so i think his hit nine is going to go down and i also think his walk nine would maybe go down a few points at seven walks in just over 27 innings pitched i think it'll only be like a minus one maybe a minus two um downgrade for carlos carrasco because that strike up per nine is probably going to save him but otherwise definitely on the struggling side and not doing too well right now for the minnesota twins we have Marlon gonzalez who um yikes i was excited for the signing for the twins um but I don't know right now versus lefties nada nothing no batting average no slug nothing zeros righties 188 281 slug two home runs two extra base hits i'm gonna say he is gonna go bronze a 74 maybe even a 73 overall for marwin gonzalez i hate to see it because he was one of my favorite utility guys or you know one of my favorite players for the astros world series run in 2017 but he is really struggling right now and not helping the twins cause at all now here's where we get into something very interesting we have a diamond pitcher from the mets and and I'm just going to bring up one guy because my video is not too long right now. Max Scherzer is a possible downgrade. I could see him getting a minus one. I'm not going to go deep into it, but I'm just going to say he could be getting a minus one. That is all I'm going to say about that one. Noah Syndergaard right here. 28 innings pitched, 6.43 ERA, 297 opponent batting average, 1.54 uh, whip, 32 strikeouts, and 10 walks. Noah Syndergaard is really struggling right now for the Mets. I think 10 walks, his walks per nine could go down. And then about a 300 opponent batting average as well. That hit per nine could go down as well. I don't think he's going to go gold. I think that'll be a bit of an overreaction, especially considering we haven't actually played too much baseball yet. I think he'll be an 85 overall and stay at a diamond, but he does have to pick up the pace if he does want to maintain the diamond rarity. And here is where I think we do have our first brand new gold player dropping from diamond to gold and that is going to be chris bryant and i hate to see it because i am a fan of chris bryant but he uh i can't deny the facts you know uh versus left he's hitting 211 474 slug one home run three extra base hits that uh slug is 
decent, you know, that might keep his power versus lefties at where it is. Maybe still down a few points, though, 474 compared to about 90 power versus lefties. Then uh, versus righties, 233 batting average, 370 slug, one home run, eight total extra base hits. I think the contact for both sides probably is going to have to go down a few points and even the power versus righties as well from a 73. I think he's going to go down to an 84 overall. I don't think they're going to kill him too much. I know he is still figuring it out from his injuries that he did have last year, but at some point you got to say, you know, is it really, uh, you still have to, you know, it's a realistic roster upgrade. It's a realistic attribute and that has to reflect his play that he has been doing. And I think an 84 overall gold tier is fair for him. Although I hate to see it. I do think uh, Chris Bryant does deserve to go gold in the next roster update. And then finally, for our last downgrade, we have AJ Pollock right here. Versus left, he's hitting 259. That is it. No extra base hits at all. Versus right, he's 179, 284 slug, one home run, four extra base hits. I think on Honestly, about everything down the line could go down a couple points. I'll say a 76 brand new overall for AJ Pollock, maintaining maintaining at a silver, but not what I was hoping for for the Dodgers. They're still doing really well, but Pollock has not been a very good replacement for you know Matt Kemp and Yasel Puig, who they did lose in the Cincinnati's red trade last year or in the offseason rather. Um, but that is going to do it for the roster update, May 3rd roster upgrade predictions. Once again, seven hitters, seven pitchers, five downgrades. That is by no means not everybody that is going to get upgraded or downgraded so if you have your own thoughts let me know down below in the comment section but i'm not sleeping on them i will look through every single team every single player look at their stats so trust me i'm not sleeping i'm very aware but once again let me know down below in the comment section who you guys think is going to go up or down um i am back from vacation once again you guys can see i'm red i'm burnt i'm tan whatever you want to say but i did enjoy the hell out of orlando and i'm looking forward to definitely going back there very very soon uh, but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like down below hope you guys have a great day and there guys so yeah.